Welcome to the Get Published Podcast, sponsored by Birdie Consulting Group. To get more information about our coaching, publishing, executive ghostwriting, and podcast production services, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. Hello, I am Paul Birdie, and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Get Published Podcast, where we help authors get published with a proven system that works. And today, we're being joined by Chris Ward, author of Win the Hour, Win the Day. Chris, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you for having me. We are thrilled to have you. Are you ready to begin? I am. All right. (laughs) Question number one. What is the one piece of advice that you would give to a first-time author who is currently writing their book? Well, I tell you, I wrote a book about win the hour, win the day, which is about productivity. And I had to use everything, like dig in from my toes when I was writing my own book on productivity. So what I would say is have a plan, work backwards. So I decided that I wanted my book to be published in June. So I did the math. And for me, that meant five pages a day, Monday to Friday. And why that's so hugely important and why so many books are not written is because the old me many years ago would have said, okay, you know what? Sometimes there was a Monday or Tuesday where I didn't feel I had five pages in me. So I would think, oh, I'll be like fresher on Thursday and I'll just get more done. I'll leave that till then. But what would happen is I'd realize, you know, it's Monday. If I don't have five pages in me, I'm not going to have 15 on Wednesday, right? So having a plan really sobers you up and lets you know, like, look, this is really got to be done. It's not a whimsical thing. It makes it, you know, it really makes it tangible when you work backwards and really plan it out. And what do you feel is the hardest part about getting published? Uh, I think the process at the end when, you know, you're lucky enough, you get to send it to an editor and you still have to keep rereading it and stuff and sort of that when to let go and when you reread it so many times, like you can't remember, did I say that in chapter two and nine, or have I read that so many times? I've said it four times. So it's really hard to come back and read a book. I mean, obviously you have an editor and you hopefully have a small network that of people that are going to help you out with fresh eyes, but you know, the buck stops with you. So for me, the struggle was letting go and just saying, okay, this is now done and accepting that I no longer have fresh eyes because I can't in my head tell where the story began and ended for me anymore. So I found that the hardest part was really after the book was written. Well, let's talk about marketing. So please share a marketing strategy that you have used in your book launch that has worked well. Well, what I used, I have a marketing agency and that's what my book, When the Hour, When the Day was written about really is about working too hard, too long and, you know, always stealing from my sleep and just grinding it out. And and that certainly uh, is, I think, part of writing a book as well, because you're tr- usually trying to write a book on top of every- doing everything else. So what worked with my launch is similar to what's working with marketing the book still similar to yourself is reaching out and having a plan to say, Hey, I want to talk to you and, and use my book as a vehicle to have a discussion. So in my case, uh, what people told me I was really successful at is, you know, sending out a video on telling them why I thought we could have a meaty discussion that would be a good fit for their audience about this topic. So that's been something that has opened a lot of doors for me. And it's really just, you know, having a plan, reaching out and personalizing it and uh, really doing your homework, but just getting the message out there and, and getting every opportunity you can to share your your platform, your book, your vehicle. So who are the people that you typically reach out to? Well, you know, it sounds so obvious, but here's here's something that I really should have known better and I did not do. So I would love your listeners to hear this. And I know this is a marketing person. I know this to be true. And yet I still didn't do it. Um, what they're always saying is include people in the journey. So when you're writing a book, tell people on Facebook, you're writing a book and help them pick the title and help them pick the cover and help them do all these things. And you know, the, any plane, the longer the takeoff, the better the flight type thing. And for me, that was a struggle because I have always been somebody that I'd rather show you what I did than tell you what I'm going to do. And I just, for me struggled with, oh yeah, everyone's going to write a book. And so I just wanted to be done and put it out there. 
So I, I, the biggest lesson I would tell people when you're reaching out is include as many people in the process as you can. And you have many opportunities with social media and just get it out there all the time. Like, Oh, I'm struggling with editing or I don't know which picture to pick or whatever. Just keep chatting it up because when I was all proud, like, Oh, look, I get to tell people what I did and didn't include them in the journey. It was just, I was talking to a cold audience and I had to do a lot more make up work and get things going because I, I just didn't do it that way. And that was just my own ego and my own limitations that got me in the way there. Well, speaking of books, I'd like to know what is your favorite book and what was the number one thing that you learned from it? Ah, favorite book is a tough sentence. So, you know, I don't know if I could pick a favorite book, but I would tell you a book that had a big impression upon me was The E-Myth. And, you know, whether you're in business or a professional or an author, it's really a book that divides any sort of professional pursuit into four categories, manager, technician, all that stuff. And it's sort of teaching you how to look at your business adventures um, and make sure that you're on the right path. So to me, that had a big impression of when I understand like, oh, I'm in the technician mode, but I should be in a manager mode, meaning like I should be stepping back and having somebody else do that. My energy could be good elsewhere. And certainly that is something I think is, is important when you're trying to find time to write a book or when you need to know like, oh, I shouldn't be, I'm the author. I shouldn't be doing the artwork on the front of the book to save money. So it's really, for me, the e-myth uh, did resonate with me and sort of changed my behavior after I read the book. I think that's a powerful book, your behavior before and your behavior after you've read it. And for a final question, what is your favorite quote and why? I am not very good at quotes, but I do remember Mark Twain and it always stuck with me when he said, I would have written a shorter letter, but I didn't have time. And I think that's very, <laughs> uh, a really good one for your audience because it just shows the, you know, the difficulty and the effort that it takes to write a, you know, like my book, people tell me all the time is very conversational. It's easy. It's an easy read, which was the goal. But I feel like saying, do you know how hard that was? Like, it's much easier to write a longer book, drier, more academic, not an easier read. So Mark Twain's, uh, you know, headache of writing a shorter letter always stuck with me. Well, Chris, I want to thank you for being a guest on the show. What is the best way for people to find you online? Well, just reach out anywhere. Tell me you heard me on this great show. Uh, I always like to know where you heard me, but check me out on LinkedIn, Facebook. And also if you go to www.winthehourwintheday.com forward slash dash free gift, you know, so that's when the hour, when the day.com free gift. Uh, we've got a number of things hot off the press. We just built this page and, uh, they'll get some real goodies for your audience some really good takeaways that, uh, we normally sell, but we're just going to throw them out for listeners like yourself who are on that path of building that book or, or their second book or whatever. I think some of these things will aid you. Well, Chris, thank you once again for being on the show and I wish you all the best in your off a journey ahead. Thank you so much. Thanks again for joining us today. To learn more about how to get your book published with a proven system that works, grab a free copy of my book at getpublishedpodcast.com.